Uh, hello, welcome to another video. And uh, I think uh, I'm probably going to show you how I, um, well, not how I, but how people make themes for their iPod Touch. And I will show you some of the software I use. Um, so uh, I hope it won't turn out bad like all of my other videos. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, I've been working on a theme of my own right now. This is just the default theme right here. Sorry it's so dark in here. It's hard to see in here with the lights on. Um, I will show you the theme I'm making. So for uh, changing the theme on your iPod Touch, you'll need a program called uh, Summerboard, which I'm pretty sure most of you will have for customizing your iPod. Uh, you might have customized also, but for changing the theme, you'll need Summerboard. Um, sorry if this movement is kind of jerky. It's kind of hard looking through the camera while doing this. This can take a while if you're changing a whole new theme. After a while you'll hear a beeping noise and you'll get this screen. And this is my theme I've made. It's uh, based... A lot of the things here I've taken from another theme called uh, Revolver. I am really not sure who it's by right now, but uh, big credits to whoever made it. I think they would be from the iPod Touch fans forum. Uh, but they made most of the icons here. I made some of them. So... Um, so I think I will go ahead and, uh, show you how I do it. So, for an example here, let's try and make, I'll try and make the, uh, iTunes icon here. You can see it right there, that purple one. So, um, as for the software I use, uh, to design my icons, um, I use Adobe Photoshop Elements. Uh, obviously, Adobe Photoshop works too. Adobe Photoshop Elements is just um, a dumbed-down version of uh, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is not a free program, but I am pretty sure you can find a free trial on their website. Um, so, and then for uh, putting these themes on your iPod Touch, you'll need, uh, there are multiple programs for doing this. I'm using one that's only a free trial right now. It is called Qt FTP. And, um, uh, well, basically, this just allows you to get root access to your iPod after you uh, have jailbroken it. Um, I have my files right here, it should show up in a second. Oh, I forgot, I need to turn on. On your iPod Touch, you will need uh, another program I forgot about called Services. And that will allow you to turn something called the SSH on, which will give you root access to your iPod. Okay, so we'll try and restart this here. Okay, one second here. And here's my iPod, and it should show up in a few seconds. Ah. Uh, Way too long. Uh, why? 
Okay, so I think I will have to shut this down. I will uh, restart it once I can get this working. Okay, it's working now. I'm not really sure when, what went wrong there. I just uh, restarted my iPod. But, um, where was I? Uh, so yeah, these are just the files that you will find on your iPod. The themes will be found in um, private, then var, then root, then library, then summer board, and then themes. Uh, these are the themes that I have on my iPod here, and my theme is right here. Um, also, you can find icons if you're gonna just change a normal icon uh, you should be able to find that under applications and then the application you're looking for um, mine hasn't really been working recently I'll try it now uh, what I'm looking for to change right now is as I said the iTunes store icon which is known as mobile store I go there and I find icon which is right here and I will transfer it to uh, if I go to my documents I'll just transfer it there and I think it yeah transfer it so let's go open up my documents and it should be down at the bottom here Okay, it says it's right here. It doesn't look like it worked because it doesn't have any size. No, unfortunately it didn't work. If that does not work, another way you can get these icons is by um, manually cutting and pasting them from the actual iPod. And how you would do that is uh, get a program called Screenshot right here. Uh, you can find this in Installer. Um, and you will start it up done now go to the page that has the icon here uh, and you press snap up in the corner and it just took a picture of it and um, now I'm gonna go back and shut this off and that screenshot that I just took should now appear in uh, TMP, which I am pretty sure is short for temp, uh, back on your iPod root files right here. And if this is the screenshot, I think I will copy and paste this, or uh, will transfer it to my documents right here. And as you can see, it worked. Um, and then I will bring this into Adobe Photoshop and open it. And now we're going to crop out the iTunes Store icon here. Um, more specifically, I think we should crop out the actual symbol, because that is what I will be using to make my icon here. Um, so I'll just bring this down to capture the little circle with the arrow in it. There we go. Now I have made a blank template of the type of button that is used in this theme. Um, right here called blank canvas. If I open this up, as you can see it's right here. It's not really much. It's basically black with a bit of light shining down from the top. Um, so, actually what I think I should do is probably delete around here, see how close I can get to it. For this I no, that's not really good enough. Um, for this I'm using the, uh, it's the magic eraser tool, and, uh, my tolerance I am setting to 20 and see if that works. That's better. 